babes and ghouls so today i kind of want to just want to relax and kind of do my makeup it's not going to be too much of a tutorial i've tried to explain what i'm doing along the way but it's kind of be like random because i really don't know exactly what i'm doing i already know the colors i'm going for um of course probably you guys have seen the intro of the makeup already but for, for now i do not know what's going on so i kind of want to do something like yellow and black something like a graphic liner i kind of want something to match this shirt this chingona shirt from chingon clothing company but yeah, um, I'll link down their website down below so you guys can check out all their awesome t-shirts. I don't know if you, guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Also, I'll post on my Facebook page. I haven't posted like, much of like, me wearing their t-shirts, so. Yeah, <laughs> they're really cool. Actually, I really like them. Like, it's really, they're really nice. I've been coming out with like, a lot of like, really bad signs lately, so. Uh, I might get some more. So, they're really awesome. So, they can get that. Uh, thank you, Chingon Clothing, for giving me a chance to model your shirts. And I really do love them. Also, they're also like a really badass local brand. So if you guys are like, if you guys know me from from here, then yeah, definitely check out this awesome, this badass clothing shop and support them. So yeah, let's support brands in the valley, guys. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so I guess we're just gonna dive into the makeup. I already did my foundation and everything. My shadow base is all done. Mm, I guess we're gonna dive into like the eyeliner, I guess. I really don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> but I'm trying to think in my head, like I don't know how I want it. We're just kind of... I guess we're just gonna kind of go with the flow, I guess, <laughs> for this video. Like, I just want to have fun in my makeup. I don't want to do anything, like, too strict or, like, a fall, I have to follow a picture or, like, this, you know, something I thought of. But I can't, I've been, actually been thinking about doing this for a while, but I just don't know exactly what kind of look. Usually my videos are thought out way ahead before, like, way ahead of time, but, um, this one's really... Like, I have been thinking about it. It's just, like, I just really don't know what to do, and I haven't really been feeling inspired lately. I'm super busy with school. So, I guess let's dive into it and see what happens. So, I'm using this Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is like one of our 10 year anniversary from like last year, I think, back in May. So, I'm surprised it actually lasted me as long. Um, it kind of spotted on me for a little bit, like I started to get dry up, but now it's like working again. So, I'm like, thank goodness. Um, if you guys have any other eyeliner suggestions, please leave them down below because I want to put like different eyeliners to try. I've been seeing some indie brands with like really badass eyeliners, and I want to try those, but um. So yeah, so I really don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'm gonna start off with like a wing, I guess, and then just kind of work my way from there, make it very, make it look very graphic liner ish. So. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the eyeliner on this side did come out a bit thicker. This one, this is the eye pictures though, so I made it more nicer, of course, but whatever. Um, it looks okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so next we're going to be adding yellow, like, in the empty negative space in the eyeliner. And I'm going to be using the Baby Bat Beauty's Mabon Liquid Lipstick. So I have a discount code for this brand, and it's Nice underscore Draven. Um, of course, I always have a link down below with along with the discount code. So make sure you check out this badass indie shop um they have a bunch of really beautiful liquid lipstick colors they have a bunch of different like awesome makeup products that you guys should definitely check out so i'm still play it with like the applicator and then once i get closer to like the edges like like where the eyeliner is i'm gonna be using like, i'm be using a smaller brush and this one's from real techniques uh let's see this one's a square detailer brush and it's really really tiny y'all can see like it's very tiny so uh, this is really perfect when, for when you need to get like in those lines and those details so, yeah <laughs> Let's go. 
Okay, so next we're going to be setting the eyeliner with some yellow eyeshadow. And this one's from Baby Bat Beauty as well. And this is the shade Dooms in the camera. I think it's a really beautiful mustard yellow. It looks really perfect for this look. It's a little bit brighter than the lipstick, but it's pretty close. Plus, I would also set it. So, you can also use any yellow eyeshadow you got. But I really love this one. It's very pigmented. And I'm going to pat it on with a flat eyeshadow brush. Finishing up the top liner, so I'm gonna add like a little thin line like I normally do, and then bring that liner down here, and then I might do some liner down here at the bottom of my eye. Like, I don't know, I really don't know what I'm doing, but really, I'm just gonna kind of go with it and just kind of figure out what the hell I'm doing. Slider. Okay, so I applied some mascara and eyelashes already, and these lashes are in style Amelia by Mimi Artistry. They come in this really cute coffin box, and I just love them. I have actually won these in a giveaway, and they sent these to me, so I'm really happy about these. I've been wearing them a lot lately. I've actually been wearing these. I think these are the lashes I've been wearing, like, I have a ton of lashes, but I've been liking these a lot, so I kind of like how so pretty they look. Um, also, I think it looks really cool, this look. I don't know, I feel like I could leave them on wrong, though. It's like, eh, it feels weird, but whatever. I don't know. I, feel, I haven't worn eyelashes in a while though. Like I wear them every once in a while, but it's been a little bit, so it feels like really weird now to wear lashes. Like I used to wear lashes like every day, but now it just feels really weird. I mean, it looks nice, yeah. <laughs> but um, let's see. What should I do next? I think I'm gonna contour my face next. Oh, also, I had applied mascara before applying the eyelashes on, and these are. This is a Baby Bat Beauty Midnight Mascara, and I had applied these onto my lashes. And I love this mascara so much. I use it like every day. And it makes my lashes look really full cool volumous. So I had to apply mascara for applying fake eyelashes so that way my eyelashes are kind of blend into the fake, the falsies. But yeah, um, yeah, so I guess we're in contour next. I really want to try this Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer. Bronzer, bronzer. <laughs> and this is actually my sister. She gave it to me because she bought it during her first paycheck and she never used it. So it's pretty much, it's brand new. She claims she never used it and it looks pretty much touched. I'm wearing blush lately, so I might apply a little bit of blush on, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna contour first and see what happens. I've never used anything other than the Cosmetics Contour Palette, so we'll see how this goes. This is really powdery. <laughs> it's like a lot came out on the brush. Let me just kind of dab some of it off. I'll probably have to go like a little bit more light-handed on the powder next time. Okay, so it actually worked really well for contour. It blended out really nicely, as y'all can see. I had a little bit of banana powder in here to make the contour look more sharper. I used the Lanta Cosmetics contour palette for that, and I just dipped into this banana colored shade right here. So, yeah. um, so next, we're going to be using highlighter. I like to use this MAC Crystal Avalanche eyeshadow. This is like really old, but I like it because it's a very subtle highlight, and I just apply it my fingers. So I just kind of brush it on here. It's like not too blinding, but it's also like, I don't know, like it's like enough to like be a highlighter and I like it because it's really subtle and I can put as much as I want without it being like crazy blinding. And I think it gives like a really nice glow to the face, so yeah. Okay, so next I'm applying some black lipstick. I had applied a little line of tape right here, so I'm trying not to talk like too much. I don't know if I'm talking funny, but yeah. I put a little line of tape there because I want to add like a little stripy yellow in the middle. Um, so I'm applying the black lipstick first and then... Remove the tape and then apply the yellow like using a little small detailed brush. Um, this is the same one I use for the liner. This is my bond from Baby Beauty. I like this one because it's a really beautiful mustard yellow. And I haven't had a chance to really wear it on my lips lately. So 
I'm gonna try to incorporate a little bit into this look. I kind of want to wear all of my lips, but also kind of want too much yellow, so black and yellow lipstick it is. And I think that is it for today's look. I think I had to have fun doing this. This side came out a little bit more wonkier than this one. This one I was more careful with. I already kind of had an idea what was going on. This one I was like the test bag kind of. So that's why the bottom line looks lower than the other one. So whatever. It's okay. The eye that doesn't get photographed. So it's okay. <laughs> I usually photograph this eye and post it on Instagram. Um, so yeah, I think I had to have fun creating this look. I was very much inspired by this shirt. The colors. I think it matches really nicely with the makeup. So yeah, so I guess tell me what you guys think down below. Um, also, thank you so much, Chingon clothing for sending me out these awesome chingona shirts i really do love them thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to model your shirts but yeah so thank you guys thank you chingon Clo chingon clothing company for giving me your shirts for free to model and i really do like them um i think they're really awesome designs he has a bunch of other like badass designs coming up so make sure you do check them out i'll leave a link down below this makeup is totally it was completely inspired by this chingona shirt um that's all I have to say for now. It's getting really hot. And I think the pizza just got here. So yay, I'm gonna go eat. Uh, so yeah, so make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. This is one of my more relaxed, chilled videos. I'm not like, it's not too crazy or whatever. I kind of want to make it like slightly makeup tutorial ish, but not like completely. I'm just, and also, I'm sorry if I was like out of frame and like when I see my makeup at some point. I, know, I would look up and I see what I saw, I was like out of frame. It's like crap. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm totally sorry. Um, so yeah, so that's it for today's video, so make sure you leave a like and comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and be sure to check out my other awesome videos if you haven't yet, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and like my Facebook page, and that is it, so thank you so much for watching, bye!